what what can we do as men to start shaping away from putting females as the objective of of our affection that right? is listen this because, is a very well, hold on this is a very good question because and this is something i've talked about at length most men find the red pill because of women they they're either not getting laid or they just got screwed over whatever the case may be but men who really and truly die just the red pill, like they're really living that red pill life, eventually we have our own epiphany phase where it's like, wait a minute, I don't have to chase women to get women. Everything I do doesn't have to be centered around women. Now, listen, listen, I stay in shape. I stay in shape for, for health reasons. But, you know, a secondary benefit is you get more female attention. I make good money that gets the attention of women, but that's not the primary reason. And this is just like Rolla says, making yourself your own mental point of origin is going to make you more attract, uh, more attractive and arousing to women, uh, you know, I mean, uh, by, by virtue of simple, re you know, reality and nature. So, yeah, I mean, we can sit here and say, hey, how do we get the focus off women? Listen, at some at, at some point, everything we do is not all about women, but they're a nice side effect. And it, it's it's not a crime to say, hey, listen, man, I wore this today because I wanted to look good for myself. But you know what? Have, getting female attention, that's a nice side effect. And I'm not going to pretend that that wasn't one of the reasons I did X, Y, or Z. Do you want to know, know the, the easiest, easiest way? way? Oh, oh, it's a weird weird. Yeah, no, yeah, if, you if you don't, don't want to starve and be constantly hunting for food, the easiest way to do that is to eat three squares a day. Apply that to women here. So if you want to stop treating women as the as the pedestal, just make sure you have them on the regular. Then you realize it just doesn't matter. Spin more plates. Yeah, you know, in J and they don't do that in Japan. Like it's so crazy to watch it from over here because Japanese guys do not put women on a pedestal. Like Japan is a very logic driven society, and they've already figured out like, yeah, there's only two genders, and out of those two genders, men are superior. So let's not put them on a pedestal. And Japan is not changing anytime soon. Real quick, somebody asked a very good question. He says, is there a difference between chasing women and pursuing women? Yes, and it's very simple. The difference between chasing and pursuing, when you're chasing women, this is all you're doing. Tolerant women, running day game, Instagram, uh, Tinder, everything you do is for women. Pursuing women is simply taking advantage of the opportunities presented to you. So you live your daily life, you're kicking life's ass. If you happen to see an ample-breasted, uh, an, an ample ass blonde in the checkout line, that is when you approach her. That is, that's the difference between uh, chasing and pursuing. And a lot of guys, well, I don't want to pursue women because it signals thirst. No, you're being lazy. And that's an excuse for you to go MGTOW, so to speak. Yeah. Thirst signals thirst. thirst right. Exactly. <laughs> so chasing women, that's thirst. Pursuing women, that that's the masculine way to do it. When you, when, when you take an opportunity, when you seize an opportunity that's in front of you, that there's a big difference there.